In this problem, we're finding the magnetic flux through a rectangular loop. The source of the magnetic field will be a long straight wire carrying current I. The magnetic field lines will be circles around this wire, and they will be entering the page on the right-hand side of the wire and coming out of the page on the left-hand side. Now the magnetic field will decrease as we move horizontally away from this wire. So to depict that, I'll make the magnetic flux lines further apart. The equation that gives us the magnetic field due to a long straight wire is mu naught i over 2 pi r, where r is the perpendicular distance from that wire. Now, we're going to put a, a rectangular loop in this region and its long face is parallel to the wire. So the long face will be B, the width of this loop will be A, and the distance from the wire to the closest edge is C. Now we can see that the circular magnetic field lines will pass right through the plane of this loop. Now because the magnetic field is not uniform throughout the area of this loop, we're going to have to integrate. And the definition for magnetic flux is the integral of B dot dA, where dA will be our area element that we'll have to divide this loop into. Now in order to choose the area element, we choose an element where B will be constant. And so that would be a vertical strip of this loop. And so this vertical strip will be dA. The distance from the wire to the strip will be r, and the thickness of the strip will be dr. And so we can see from the geometry that dA is just equal to the length of the strip times the width of the strip, b times dr. Now the vector dA points perpendicular to the plane of the loop, and because it's just a plane and not a closed surface, I can make dA any direction I want, so I'll make it into the page, which means that both B and dA are into the page, and so their dot product is simply the product of their magnitudes. So we don't have to worry about any vectors. Okay, so subbing these into the integral, we have that the magnetic flux is equal to the integral of mu naught i over 2 pi r, times the dA, which is B dr. So many of these quantities are constants. They can come out of the integral. And we'll be left with the integral of 1 over r dr, the limits of integration being from C to C plus A. So the final answer is a logarithm that depends on the actual size of that loop. So it's the ln of C plus A over C. And that is the magnetic flux through a rectangular loop next to a long straight wire.